So we've come to the end of our discussion of reactor blocks. I've had so much fun over the past several weeks playing with this, exploring with these modules, and I can only imagine that you will have just as much fun. And I hope you've had fun this far. And what I really want to reiterate that this is only the beginning of reactor blocks. There are 30 blocks to start with, and there will be more, many more not only from native instruments who knows you know they'll probably there'll be free ones there'll probably be paid ones who knows but one thing we can bank on is that the user community is going to get involved in this and create a whole bunch of unique instruments and i just can't wait and one thing i love about reactor blocks is that i think it's going to basically start the itch you've heard of the modular itch well i think this is going to kind of get people into hardware modular systems in a big way I know personally, I've always been incredibly interested. I can't believe I haven't pulled <laughs> pulled the trigger yet. Uh, probably because I'm afraid my wife will kill me for buying thousands and thousands of dollars worth of modules, as seems to happen to everyone. Uh, <laughs> all my friends who have started are completely addicted to modular. So I think it's really going to start people in that direction in a, in a good way, because Listen, you don't have to make such a huge investment. I mean, you just have Reactor, and then you start playing around and wondering if this is even an area you want to get into. So it's a nice kind of like training wheels, I think, to get into modular. So in conclusion, the other thing we haven't shown is using it inside of a DAW. It works exactly the same way. Everything I've been doing to this point has been standalone, but it works just the same way in a DAW, and in fact becomes more powerful when you, when you couple it with a host. So I'm using it inside a machine, which I'm aware is not a DAW, but it's almost there. And the thing I love about machine and blocks together is that it gives me some of that hands-on, I, I get back into being able to have hands-on with the system because everything in machine is, is so easy to control with the knobs and the, the controls. For instance, like even like, I have some drum synths in here and these drum synths are fantastic. These are essentially little modules, little drum modules that are, hot, you know, finely tuned to do exactly what you need it to do. So everything is just a touch away. All that tweaking we were doing with a module I can just do with the controls on the machine. Really, really slick. And so same way as... You know, I might play my instrument like this, but let me just hide the, the view. Let's come out of this view. I sometimes want to just grab a delay, right? And tweak a delay with <laughs> without having to use the mouse, right? It's so nice to be able to get back to that. And I have an early beta version, but you will be able to basically have pre-mapped controls for your module setups, your patches, if you will. So that's coming soon enough. But the other great thing is, remember how I was talking about screen real estate? It's always at a premium, right? So you can resize this window as much as you need, thank God, because you're going to just keep adding modules most likely. And one really slick thing is if you come up here into the header, all you have to do is double click and it kind of drops away. It's still there. See, it's this floating little header now, but... You know, maybe I just needed to come in and check out my piano roll or something. So you can just double click, open it up, and close as you need. And the other thing to notice is that this little red icon here is always going to be showing at you as you make changes. And that is basically telling you these changes have been made. You need to save a location for saving within the host for all the changes you've made to this patch. So select a destination, do it from there. So that time, next time I open up this project, my changes won't be lost. Okay. So that's it. Go explore. It's a whole world of sound. I've only showed off a tiny little part. Go explore. Have fun. And uh, I'm with you. I can't wait to see what the future brings for the future of blocks. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.